But Kenyan publishers want uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta to convene a meeting between striking teachers and their employer. Kenya Publishers Association Chairman David Weru says the president should ensure the crisis facing the education sector is solved before he leaves for New York where he is scheduled to attend the United Nations General Assembly. He says the strike has also affected the publishing sector. The experts are seated on this side <laughs> of the Kiswahili language. Um, uh, just one moment, Mr. Kain. All our leaders should recognize that history will judge them harshly for pushing Kenya one step closer to the level of a failed state. For that is what we are slowly sliding into. If 14 million children are denied a very basic right to schooling, simply on the basis of a feud between government, the trade unions, and teachers, there cannot be any reason, there cannot be any justification for kids not to be in school when they should. 14 million of them, even if it was one child, there cannot be any reason. And we want to tell our leaders that history will judge them very harshly. It doesn't matter how good their arguments may be, it doesn't matter how justified they are, nobody has the right or can have enough reason to steal the dreams of 14 million young Kenyans who are looking up to them.